Hello, this is a quick overview for the dark mode listener in 3ds Max. So if you open the listener in 3ds Max by pressing F11, you will notice that everything in Max is in dark mode except for the listener, which might be quite annoying. So there is a plugin which you can find either on GitHub or on the Autodesk store, which a link will be included in the description. When you want to install that plugin, there are various methods you could do this. So going to the Autodesk documentation shows you the install locations for plugins. So you can go to these, let's say, C program files Autodesk application plugin, copy this, I go to Explorer and type that in here. Let's take a different one. So no, there is no guarantee that these folders exist, but you can create them. Um, so we are in a folder here. Any plugin I put in here on startup will automatically be loaded in 3ds Max. Uh, so if you download the plugin from, let's say, GitHub, then you download this by going up here and click download zip. Then d extract the package and take the dark listener folder and place that in here in the correct um, folder. So for more information, you can follow the instructions in Autodesk uh, plugin packaging documentation page. Uh, the way that I did a hookup was using environment settings. So we'll go to environment variables, and then I create a um, Autodesk application plugins environment variable here, and set that to the path of my plugin, which in this case is this. So as you can see, the package content XML lives in here, the post startup scripts live in here, uh, which contains the dark listener script. And then when I go to 3ds Max and I restart it, I get the dark listener. I press F11 and on startup, everything will automatically be loaded. So you just press F11 like usual uh, to show the listener and the dark mode will show up. And that's it. Hope you enjoy it and any questions just leave them in the comments.